been a dramatic few days in the deals for poor Moira Dingle as she's fighting for her life in hospital following a hit and run accident. What's wrong? It's Moira. She's had an accident. They think it was a hit and run. We go home, clean up the car, and we pretend like it never happened. What if someone reports it? Then I'll say you were here the whole time. We're going to put her into a medically induced coma uh, that'll keep her calm until any trauma subsides. The next few hours will be critical. So many questions. Will she pull through? Will she and Kian manage to rekindle their romance? Who'll run the farm without her? Natalie J. Robb is here to tell us probably very little, actually, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> yes, exactly. I can't say too much. I'm asleep. <laughs> How are you, ladies? I can see you all have a smile for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Natalie, what has it been like being back at work? I'm sure it's sort of strange circumstances, very few people on very, set. I mean, yeah, what has the feeling strange. been like? It is very strange. At first, it, they're very, Jane Hudson, the, our producer, has implemented the two metre distancing rules and we, they're taking it very, very seriously for everyone's safety and, of course, so we can still continue filming. But um, it's like a little bit of the soul's gone out of it a bit. At the moment, I'm sure in time we'll get used to it, but it's just there's less people. We've obviously got the distancing measures. They have a two metre pole to make sure you're not close to anybody. But also, uh, it, it's just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of very jovial on set, so I kind of miss that side of it, the banter side of things. But, but Natalie... It is what it is. I'm, very, I'm very lucky to be working. So. Natalie, you're in a coma, aren't you? So you're filming with your eyes shut anyway. <laughs> well, I have to say, my eyes were shut because, because of the social distancing measures, I had to attach everything by myself. Oh. And the medical advisor, Lindsay Riding, who's also a pal of mine, was placed in a laptop on a trolley. She was wheeled into the room and I had to put the ventilator on by myself, oh, all the heart monitors and everything. And it was really, really difficult. So by the end of it, I was... <laughs> 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 it's not quite right, apparently, so sorry about that. <laughs> Needs must, of course, Natalie, in these times. But, I mean, it, we, we love your character, Natalie, and she has been through the wars, and I've spoken to you many times about, about various storylines, but the cane thing with Moira, I think, <gasps> is the big talking point right now. Oh. Colleen, you're quite excited about this one, aren't you? Oh, I just want them to get back together. They're just so <laughs> right together. Yeah, I really do. I, I've loved their relationship all the way through, and I know it went all a bit toxic and horrible, but... Oh, I just love you together in that. And then he's waiting for you to come out of the coma and he still loves you. Does he still love me? Oh, good. <laughs> he still loves you. <laughs> just so you know. But she still loves him. She made a mistake. We all make mistakes. But she definitely still loves him. So hopefully if she pulls through, then maybe. Who maybe. knows? Well, Natalie, here's the proof. There's definitely still feelings involved. I'm going to be with you every minute. In that brain theatre, I'm going to be thinking about it all the time. Every minute. And then, um, then we're going to get you home, right? And we're going to fix whoever did this to you. Oh, oh it's so, so lovely. <laughs> but we have to meant as much as I want you to be with Kane in Emmerdale. Um, apparently, I mean, a little bird's told me that you have a little secret love going on with somebody <laughs> on set. Is this true? Uh, love and lockdown? Um, yeah. I think it's a big bird now. Uh, yes. Um, uh, Johnny McPherson and I started to see each other, or our first date was in mid-January, and then we were just having a couple of dates in February and then obviously in March lockdown happened and we were together at the time that Boris Johnson announced it. <laughs> so we we're like, oh, so he's been kind of staying with me and then they were saying, yes, it could be three weeks. Yes, it might be six weeks. And we were, I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, a little this, this, detail, this little details here. Who asked who? How did it all sort of like initiate? Actually, we just kind of evolved because we did a, a charity 
I think the press, uh, they, were, they weren't quite right with it, but we did a charity um, where you go out with, the, with children who have cancer and things like that. You take them to Lapland and we were on that and it's a day trip, so you're there and back in a day. And from then, then on, we just sort of got to know each other better. I mean, I'd worked with them and things, but we got to know them better. And uh, yeah, it just went off from there. A few text messages and things like that. And we went out for a meal and uh, the, the rest is and history. And how's, how's it going in lockdown? Well, we've had a few wobbles, I'm not going to lie, but the making up was fantastic. <laughs> I was going to say, the one thing about lockdown is that you are exposed to someone 24 hours a day. You can't go anywhere. And so have you discovered any kind of unpleasant little secrets about it? Um, unpleasant? Not really unpleasant. Well, Luckily, we're with. very compatible, but he does leave lids off everything <laughs> and doors open. So sometimes I come in and I think there's been a ghost in the house and then I think, no. <laughs> Johnny's somewhere in the house. He just leaves doors open and things. <laughs> that's about it. I have to, that's about it, really. And um, we just kind of gave each other space and things like that. We walked and uh, did our daily exercise once a day. And I've got a, a dog called Bronson, which um, he's very fond of. So we took turns in doing that. And um, yeah, it just it, luckily it's worked. So yeah, well, that, you're certainly not alone. We actually did that. Uh, we chatted about that on the show, didn't we? Mm -hmm. About how you've just met someone and we've gone into lockdown. You have to decide whether you want to be with them or not. So there'll yeah. be a lot of people absolutely get in your, your story. And it's, it's a lovely story anyway, Natalie. Thank Emmerdale you. tonight, 7 p.m. We're feeling confident. We're <laughs> feeling confident for Kian and Moira. Just going to put it out there. Okay. Okay, thank you. If I pull through, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Natalie. It's great to see thank you, you again. Thank, thank you. you. See you soon. Bye.